What's up guys? Welcome to day 51 of On Shape. We're going to be making some bevel gears today. That way we can take uh, continue on with our gears videos, looking at gears and gear ratios. And we're also now going to be looking at how do we change the direction of our motion. So bevel gears allow you to change the axis in which your gears are rotating. And so this is a 90 degree uh, change. And so because of that, we're going to look at what our bevel angle should be. Now, when I started doing this, I was like, you know what? Beveled angles are going to be 45, 40, right? That makes a 90. Well, actually, the problem is, is if both are cut to 45 degrees, they're not going to touch, um, or at least not have an easy time overlapping. So with a little bit of research, I found out the best angle is going to be is 20 degrees. And let's do that. Let's make a bevel gear with about 20 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Part Studio. Sketch. Click this top plane. Hit View Normal 2. Now what I've already done, let's go ahead and paste that in there, is I already have my sketch profile for my 20 tooth gear. If you have it, why remake it? Just reuse it. So let's go ahead and just hit the green check mark on that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go and extrude this. I'm going to hit Shift E. Let's extrude this profile. Now we run into a little bit of an interesting situation here. As if you know, if I click on this and then I, you know, some of my students are going to start clicking on every single small profile all the way around. Don't waste your time with that. On shape is actually pretty smart. It actually, if you just click on your timeline on the left side and click that whole sketch, it'll just intuitively say, okay, we think we know what you want. And it does it for us. However, this time, we're going to do a bevel. The problem is, is that when we do this bevel of about 20 degrees, is that it also bevels or drafts out the our axle hole. And so we, ha we have to actually go through make that full and then cut it out straight. Okay, I'm gonna make, gonna make that depth to be about half an inch. Hit the green check mark. We're gonna make this first sketch visible again. That way when I extrude, oh, I'm gonna have to go to the back side here. When I extrude this out, this is gonna be remove. Flip the axis, there we go, we cut our hole out. It's looking good. Okay, moving forward. We've got our, our bevel geared made. We already know our axle still works, so we're ready just to go straight into an assembly. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. We're going to create this assembly. We're going to throw in the gear we just made. And we're also going to throw in that axle. Now I accidentally clicked on a plate, so let's just take that out of there. Hit delete. There we go. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to do a revolute mate. So we're going to want this to revolve around the end of that. Looks good to me. Hit the green check mark and we are already cooking with grease. Okay. Next thing is I've already got my revolute mate in there and I've got the pieces pulled in there. If you select those pieces and copy them, when you paste them in, it'll be in as exactly as you had. And so what we can do then is just do that, copy paste, Revolute's already in there, and now we're good to go. All we need to do is throw in our constraint or other mates and we're done. So let's go ahead and do what we got going on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fasten mate between these two axles. These gears might get in your way, so I'm gonna make them inactive. And I'm just gonna slip on the edges of these gears. Okay. We're going to do an offset now. We're going to do an offset. We're going to move it in two directions and rotate it 90 degrees. So I'm going to move it in the x direction. Let's go ahead and move that one inch. And let's go ahead and rotate it, or sorry, move it in the z direction one inch. And rotate it in the, um, show you about the x, 90 degrees. Okay. So this will start to get us in the realm of what we need. Ooh, let's take that X out of there. There we go. Take that zero. Okay. And we might need to increase that distance to that Z. 
to about maybe 1.5 inches. And we're going to move it back. Let's try in the Y direction. Uh, let's do that 1.5 inches as well. And what I'm going to do is then bring my gears back in and to show us what's got going on here is that by having this axle fit fastened to that axle, they're not going to move. It's always going to be some distance and rotated next to it. So all I need to do in here now is to go ahead and, f and adjust this distance here for that fasten. And so we see 1.5 inches is just a little too much. Um, and so what I've noticed is that if I go in eighths, that tends to work best for me. And so that gets me right in the ballpark. I would say that is almost arguably good enough. You know, just for the sake of argument, what does one inch get me? That looks like a little bit of too much overlap for me. Something I don't care to have. So you can uh, change this a little bit and tweak it a little bit more if you want. For what we got going on here, I think one and eight inch works totally fine. Okay, next thing we got going on is a gear system. And so we're gonna just select these two gear mates or these revolutes as a gear mate. It's a one to one ratio. You might need to reverse the direction, but it's kind of hard to tell uh, sometimes. And what I'm going to look in here is these mates sometimes tell you the directions that they're going. Um, and so I believe we're actually going to reverse direction here. And does that put me right in the ballpark? Nope, because I forgot to do one thing. Always, always, always fix one thing. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, man, I still got the angle backwards. Or the, the direction backwards. So let's edit that. Okay, there we go, folks. We're looking great, although we have a little bit of a problem here. My gears directly overlap. I mean, that is 100% overlap. And how do we fix that? If we click on the drop down arrow here, we can edit one of our mate connectors to be moved just a few degrees. You know, maybe let's try seven degrees. Nine degree, eight degrees, nine degrees. I'd say nine degrees is looking really good there. Okay, now if we want to, and let's go ahead and get a little particular about it. Let's just go back and mess with this fastened. What's less? What's one sixteenth? Uh, I don't know that fraction off the top of my head. So I'm gonna do zero point seven five. 1.075 and I'm curious that puts us danger close we're looking good fantastic and there you go folks we have it we've made a bevel gear with a 20 degree draft that way there's overlap when we put them at 90 degrees um, for our change of motion Okay, guys, stick uh, stick around. I'm going to absolutely just turn around and throw in another video here about rack and pinion systems. Uh, and then we were almost wrapped up with our little case study on gears. And uh, soon, hopefully, we're going to build some simple machines um, and see what kind of damage we can do with those. Okay, guys, um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Like and subscribe and all that good jazz. You're awesome. Things are going awesome. I'm looking forward to the, I would say, the special projects I'll get into uh, kind of this summer, especially when I got a little more time on my hands to build maybe a bigger, bigger, bigger scaled uh, object. I think I'm going to get my hands into maybe some differential gears and maybe into some rack and pinion systems dealing with a, a car. And I think it would just be too cool to 3D print a differential gear. I'm just getting excited for it. Okay, guys, take care, and I'll see you on the next video.